Native American drums and singing resonate from the farmlands of Amherst County, Virginia, about 300 kilometers from Washington, D.C. Dancers as young as three-year-old Bryson are in full regalia and warming up before the grand entry of the 13th Monacan Indian powwow. Daniel powwow is grand entry time. Cocteau Jr. is an appropriate song. It's the time that Monacan Indians, along with other tribes from across the U.S. and Canada, get together to celebrate their tradition, culture, and more. Do we have any veterans of Afghanistan? Come on out into the dance arena. Marvin Burnett, a Vietnam veteran, is the event's MC. Basically, what we're doing here, it's a social gathering, gathering nothing to do with religious or deep spiritual. It gives us opportunity to share Native culture and tradition with the audience, with mainstream America. Pow wow, time to come together. Everything has a meaning to it. Um, what I do as an artist and a historian. An estimated 6,000 people have come to the weekend-long event. Marek Gravowski lives in Virginia. We enjoy it very much, and I think it's great education for other people, people from all over the world, like we, we are originally from Poland, to see how the Indian people live and how they celebrate. It's also an emotional time for many Monacans. Anthony Baxter, a retired professor from South Carolina, came to the powwow for the first time. I feel like I'm at home, that I've come full circle, that my ancestors are standing here behind me. The Monacan tribe's culture is said to date back 10,000 years, and its original territory comprised roughly half of the state of Virginia. Today, the Monacans are a small tribe of about 1,400 people located in the Amherst County area. Others are scattered across the United States. 72-year-old Bernard Belvin is from Texas. He left the county when he was three. For many, many reasons. Some I don't understand, but for me and my parents, my parents was because they could not raise their children here. Sue Elliott, coordinator of the Monacan Indian Museum, says Monacans had incentives for leaving, but the situation has begun to change. In the past, uh, due to the racial tension here in Amherst County area, uh, and the, like again, the low income of the families, uh, they tend to not have any drive or any hope of doing anything in the future. But within the last two years, we've seen a change in that. One sign of change, five Monacan children in the county went to college last year, a record achievement. Sue Elliott's son, Rufus, is one of the five. He is enrolled at Virginia Polytechnical Institute. I'm very proud of being able to go to college. Uh, and my family's very proud of me. And it's just an opportunity they never had. Around here, it's hard, it's hard to break a habit. I think for 100 years, you know, you see the schoolhouse right here, that's all they had. And so to even think outside the box enough to realize that that opportunity is there now, that it's not like that. Now the Monacans have one great shared hope, getting federal recognition of their tribe. The bill for federal recognition has been introduced in the U.S. Congress. Kenneth Branham is the chief of the Monacan Indian Nation. The most important thing is the educational part of it. There are m literally millions of dollars out there for Indian people, but you have to be federal recognized to tap into this. With federal recognition, our young people would have doors open that uh, right now are closed. The Monacans are confident that federal recognition will eventually help bring more people back to the community and preserve the tribe. Amy Katz, VOA News.